Uh, all right, so we could talk about, we'll start with Bond. Originally, I was going to do them last so we could just spend the entire time shredding it. I feel like it's good to just get out of the way so we can get to the good movies in Pearl and the Woman King. Um, so let's start with Bond um, by Andrew Dominic, who's made some, I would say, pretty good movies. Uh, assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. Um, uh, Killing Them Softly, I always really liked. A couple other ones as well. Uh, Anna de Armas, Adrian Brody, Bobby Cannavale. Uh, look at the rise to fame and epic demise of actress Marilyn Monroe, one of the biggest stars in the world. Uh, it's based off of a fictional biopic uh, book, which was very well received. One like, um, I think, a Pulitzer and like some other uh, book awards and shit like that. Uh, I know we are excited for it for a number of different reasons, both moral and immoral. Um, what, the moral one being they rated it NC-17, which I think it was Netflix's first ever NC-17 movie, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're like, okay, that's cool because Marilyn Monroe, very tragic figure. A lot of her life was very adult, like in that sense. So like they're not going to pull punches. Great. Um, Andrew Dominic getting his hands on this. Cool. Anna de Armas, one of the, uh, I would say, objectively beautiful actresses in the world getting to play yep. in Hollywood icon. Like everything about this movie was like, shit, this should be good. You get She gets like a, what, nine minute standing ovation. 14. 14. It's one of the biggest at Venice. That's a disgrace. I thought it was like nine minutes, but like, <sighs> anyway, he gets a big standing ovation at cons and like, we're all kind of thinking like, yeah, shit, maybe they did something here. Um, I'll start first. <laughs> this is just the most pretentious piece of shit ever. The most, <laughs> the most, uh, the most dog shit movie I've had to sit through in a while. And, and to the point where I did not sit through it. I DNF this movie at about the halfway point, which is uh, safely around oh. two hours in. Like, I got right. to a point where I was watching it. I'm like, this movie is explicitly made for people to hate it. There is no way that they looked at this edit of this movie, this two hour and 47 minute long movie, and were like, this is people are going to like this. Like, there's going to be critics out there. There's going to be this, like this, that, that, that. No, like, there's no way that any human being sat through the cut of that movie and was like, this is a palatable movie for people. Or not even, like, uncomfortable in a way where it's like, that's the purpose. It's just a bad movie. It is a truly, yeah. truly bad movie. And the fact they got a 14-minute standing O is insane to me because it was just two hours and 47 minutes of nothing. Or, again, yes. only for me, only about two hours, thank God. But it is just... The most DNF movie, the movie that is created to get people to stop watching it. Um, it's the most v frustrating movie I think I've had to sit through. Again, not in its entirety in a mm -hmm. long time. But uh, Chris, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, uh, th this is one of the five worst movies of the year. Um, I don't have it number one uh, because the bubble exists. But at the same time, um, the big the big issue I have with this film, and it's the issue that I've had or I thought I would have, you can't make a movie that is pointing a finger in your face saying, you have exploited Marilyn Monroe while you spend two hours and 46 minutes exploiting Ana de Armas. Mm -hmm. That's the big problem. A movie I was thinking of while watching this was that movie Bombshell about the Fox News scandal, which I don't think is an amazing film, but the moments they really needed to get right, they got right in terms of just that tension, that uncomfortability that came with those horrible things that happened uh, to those women here. I mean, I, I went off on Twitter. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid some of the things I said. No, definitely you repeat, just in case for the people that, that don't follow. Uh, well, I got the impression Andrew Dominic might be a weird, creepy sex pervert because yes. I'm like, it just seems like he has a, it is a fetishistic attachment both to Marilyn Monroe and to Ana de Armas. And it like, I, I have no problem with sex in movies. And, and while it doesn't it's make me comfortable, I, I don't inherently have an issue with sexual assault or or rape or 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 you know women getting beaten on on film yeah. if, it, if it matters in, in a sense if it means you know that you're telling a story but you get the impression he was in the editing room fucking tugging his pud while watching this and you just feel uncomfortable watching the movie and man I wanted to praise her in this and it's not entirely her fault but I don't think Ana de Armas is even that good to be honest with you. I think that part of it is the way that character is written because it's all it is is just screaming and yelling and no subtlety to anything but you know, it sucks because I, 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 it makes me come across like I'm making fun of her I heard the accent the whole time I, I couldn't get past that like I just I heard it behind and she was trying so hard there and you brought up the runtime two hours 46 minutes again what Fuck you, you for that. Yeah, like, like there's and Marilyn Monroe ain't that goddamn interesting. There is one thing about this movie that I think is hilarious. Um, you knew 
if they were making a Marilyn Monroe movie that Joe DiMaggio was going to show up at some point, right? Oh, Which show up a, he does. Oh, yeah. Right. That's another issue I have with the movie is it kind of feels like an SNL sketch at some point where it's like, hey, here's Joe DiMaggio. Give it up. Here's JFK. Give it up. Yeah. But as much as I love, fucking love the ground that this actor walks on, Bobby Cannavale as Joe DiMaggio to me is like a hilarious miscasting. Like, I think somebody said, find me an Italian actor. Oh, Bobby yep. Cannavale is pretty good. Like he, like, he doesn't look like him. He doesn't sound like him. Not to say that his performance is like wooden or broken, like he's doing the best he can. But I was just like, dude, that, especially next to Ana de Armas, I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. So it is, um, it's a train wreck of a movie. I would almost, almost recommend it as a spectacular failure you have to watch once in your life kind of film. If not for the fact it's fucking boring. It is a mm. boring goddamn movie. And so, long. yeah, um, one, one of the five worst movies of the year. I, it is good to see, for the most part, that the entire internet is in agreement here. Because I had, uh, trust me, I had a lot of people in the blog I wrote in the video I made like, you know, but yeah, but what about Ana de Armas' tits? I'm telling you, if you come out of this movie turned on at You're all. You're a freak. Get, uh, and look, I don't fetish shame at all. Get yourself checked in. Like yeah. th- this is the, the sex in this movie, the nudity in this movie. It is not. It, it is so gratuitous. It's not even comfortable or or enjoyable at all. And also, Ana de Armas has been nude in a lot of movies. Like, yeah. watch fucking Night Clerk. You know, you, you'll <laughs> you'll you'll get your fix. So uh, or don't because it sucks. But yeah, no terrible movie. The and I just want to know too, like beyond the internet reaction being very um, against it, and rightfully so, critics didn't like it either. As much as those assholes like fucking applauded 14 minutes to her face, they gave it a 43 aggregate score on Rotten. Like they didn't like it. We didn't like right. it. Nobody liked this except for Andrew Dominic, who, like you said, was probably jerking off in the editing. Book. <laughs> so like, I, good luck ever interviewing him. I apologize. But I mean, at this point, like that, it's just it, it was it's a it's a colossal failure. But yeah, Gooch. I, I grade my movies differently from you all and that you all will take a lot of uh, you're much more seasoned in recognizing the more technical elements and you're able to work that into your score. I almost purely always go off of enjoyment. And for this reason, for that reason, this is my worst movie of the year. This is, this is awful. I don't blame this is, you. I did not finish after the second time you get a Joe DiMaggio beating Marilyn Monroe. I'd like, I was just like, I can't do this anymore. It is a catalog of trauma porn jumping from scene wow. to scene. It is just yeah. disgusting to look at. Um, and actually not disgusting to look at. It's disgusting to watch. But the cinematography somehow is phenomenal. I think the acting for I disagree with you. I think Ana de Armas is very serviceable, if not good, to great. Okay. Uh, I'm also accent blind. I think we've talked about that <laughs> before. Um, I think the performances are strong. But it's the story and the direction they chose to go. And every decision they made was the wrong decision. Yes. Every decision <laughs> yeah. they made in this movie was the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a movie it. that should not have been made. Yeah. It shouldn't and, and, have been made. And, and you bring up the the cinematography and the way it looks, and you are right. Like, Andrew Dominic can clearly f- frame a shot. He you know? knows, right. really I think he that, knows yeah. that too. Yeah. And he he thinks he's very, Smart. I think he, he thinks, thinks he's, he's like the Deacons, the, some shit. Up his own ass. Yeah. yeah. I think he definitely yeah. thinks very highly of himself. But but even that comes with a caveat because I think it's styli- stylistically inconsistent. Yes, where, yes like, it is. For sure. There's, yeah. there's moments in black and white that probably could have been in color. There's moments in color that could have been in black and white. It changes the aspect ratio every so often just because fuck it, why not? Like this, it's. I mean, it's just the more I talk about, it, the more this is such a vanity project. It like, is. Yeah. It's it's just, go ahead. Yeah. brutal, brutal watch. And again, I just want to note, I DNF'd, you DNF'd. Chris, did you make it to the end? I. I did. Yeah, you did. So you're the only one actually qualified here to give it a score. So like, I'm not going to score it. I am. I am. I give it a three out of three out of a hundred. And those three points are one for Anity Armas. Wow. One for the cinematographer. Cause I actually do. I like a lot of those shots. I thought it was not the CGI fetus fetus, but like (laughs) how many shots of that do we need? Like the the car coming through the fire towards the beginning. I I, I actually really thought that was really fucking cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just a one point for getting it made. Like it's Mm -hmm. just hard to get a movie made. So sure. It's in, it's in it's in focus, so you get it. But yeah, yeah I, if I had to give it a rating, I mean, it's nineteen twenty. Like I, I don't. I mean, it's because there are like I think if you took a single frame out of this movie, not one that's up on a Armas's vagina, but like an, an actual like single frame, you'd probably look at it and be like, 
oh, this this movie might not be that bad. Like, I think we all watch the trailer and we're like, yeah. eh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but beyond that, like, whew, what a movie. It's a movie that, yeah. like, I, again, like, I can't imagine he, Dominic, watched that final cut and was like, this is good for some, like, it's not aimed at anybody. It's not like, like it's no, these, there's nobody that this is made These aren't like. topics that you can't explore in a movie. It's mm-hmm. just how he explored them are just, it's fucking grotesque how he did it. Yeah. It's offensive. Yeah. I, I would argue, and I usually go against this, I would argue this was a movie that needed to be directed by a woman. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that if you're going to tell the story of a very famous woman who experienced remarkable physical, emotional, and sexual trauma, uh, uh, the guy who made Assassination of Jesse James just ain't going to cut it. <laughs> not, not to say that that's a terrible movie, but it just I, I just mean I think that you need that steady hand there, and mm-hmm. it's so clearly Also, lacking. don't use a fictionalized biography yeah. yes, that, that, that the right. Monroe estate has come out publicly multiple times since the book's release, not even since the film was announced, since the book's release and has been very against it and said that it's very, I mean, creative in their storytelling. Like it's it's yep. almost completely off base and – Correct, yeah. So many it's different fictional. parts of her it's, life, and you would like it could have been a strong female empowerment movie. Movie, you could have shown her film career how great of a comedic talent she was, and yeah. some like it hot. Gentlemen prefer blondes, and how smart she was, like a genius level person by all accounts. Like people say, she was sharp as a tack. But instead, you tried to show her as just this victim for two mm-hmm. hours and forty five minutes, Man. and it's like that's it's not the way to do it. It's mm-hmm. just that, that that is such a brilliant point, Gooch. And this will be the last thing I'll say. Is and I didn't think about this till you brought it up. Not once does the movie ever really capture her talent. Yeah, no. like, not it, once. It, 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 it's the the movie is you're right. It's trauma porn, simply about how look at how abused she was without capturing what was re- like the human being that was actually inside there and the talent that made her for a you know a stretch of time probably the most famous actress in the world. That's an excellent point you made. They kind of make yeah. her look like she's like a fucking doll or something like that failed upwards and or was like inappropriately put into these places based off the the value of what she looked like. Yep. It's like, no, dude, she was like really good. She's a really good actress. Yep. Like you were just saying very funny. Like she earned all those places. Like, but then like you make it seem like she's just, I don't know, fucking nobody pushover or some shit. It's like, no, dude, she faced like a lot of trauma and she powered through a lot of it. Like, I don't know, dude. Watch it's, some uh, like it hot if you if you're looking for a Marilyn yeah. Monroe movie to watch. It's very funny, holds up well comedically, which a lot of movies from that time don't. Very very funny movie. And watch the Monroe documentary on HBO Max. Significantly better than yep. than this. And again, it's this is a it's a fiction, so like it's, it's not supposed to be based off their, their God, her life or anything. So much. This movie, fucking, I hate this movie it so blows. much. It, it makes me want Andrew Dominic to be like suspended from directing. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like he deserves that's like that's the, nice. the 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 without the, pay. The SAG the SAG needs to come down with a suspension. No actors allowed to work with Andrew Dominic for yeah. ten years. I mean, this is. It's offensive. It is straight up offensive how fucking I, I hate this movie. And not like again, it's not like um you know, like back in the day they'd be like, Oh, it's offensive if you show a tit on a movie or whatever. It's like it's not offensive in a way like, oh, you just don't right. like my art because it's offending you or whatever. It's like, no, you just sucks. And it just sucks yeah. and it's grading and it's bad. It's not like we I don't like it because you're challenging a norm. You're not challenging a norm, you're just making mm-hmm. something that's complete dog shit. Which if, but, it- yeah. Sorry, if it's ahead. any if it's any consolation, Gooch, this is going to stick with him the rest of his career. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, every time you list off his him, his filmography, you're going to be like, oh, uh, Jesse James. Oh, killing him softly. Oh, fuck. He did blonde. Yeah. Did, do oh, we, do boy, we that, worry about Ana de Armas' star right now? This has been a rough year. Yeah. Your, your tweet was a great tweet, which is like, I think it's one of those things where when you're an actress or actor in Hollywood, you, you try to be as selective as you can because you're building up your stock. Her stock was built up, and now it's like I'm taking a bunch of star vehicles, and all her star vehicles have been bad like, yeah. so far. On paper, these exactly things should have worked. Like, on paper, a lot of these things should have worked. I think right. Red Notice should have worked. Russo Brothers, Gosling, Chris Evans. I mean, great cast. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's great, great, man. Great, great, man. Man. great man. Great man. Yeah, not Red Notice. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it's Gal Gadot. <laughs> great man. Uh, great man. Uh, deep Water. This, this kind of makes sense, too. Like, oh, on Deep paper, Water was so bad. Deep Water was right. terrible. Oh, my God. Her movie sucked this year. <laughs> Sergio was really bad, too, I thought. Her, her last really good role was, I'd say, I mean, no, no, time no, to, time no Time to no time Die, time. in which no she time. had yeah, 15 minutes of screen time. But she absolutely stole the show in that movie. Yeah, I think everybody agrees with that. Um, so yeah, hopefully she gets back to something good. She's got John Wick, the John Wick spinoff coming up mm-hmm. with Emerald Fennell directing and writing. Um, yeah, I don't know what else she's got coming, but she needs to. She's gotta. She's gotta get back she on has, track. I really hope this doesn't follow her. I don't think this up is her fault. Is ghosted. No. 
which is the movie uh, she replaced, I think, Scarlett Johansson in it. Um, it's Chris Evans' rom-com yes. action-adventure movie from Rhett Reese, who did Deadpool, ironically, uh, we were just talking about. Um, and that's on Apple TV. But this, yeah. Okay, so I think we're, again, I'm a DNF. Gucci's a DNF. I gave it three out of 100. Chris, we're your bottom five of the year, but like, what let's, let's go. Let's go 19. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, out of a hundred there just cause yeah, I mean, it's, it's in focus, but it's, <laughs> on that. Not, it's not much, not much to say. It's an, it's just an absolute piece of dog shit. Um, Could you imagine being like the VFX artist having to put together those fetish? <laughs> like, just fucking Christ, dude. Just, you're missing, you're missing Thanksgiving so you can make a CGI fetus. Yeah. I might have much money put into that too. Just disgusting. Um, <laughs>